it's my pleasure to welcome on stage Mr. Srinivas Rao, the head marketing lifestyle, to please come up on stage and uh, share with us a few words about this exciting brand, Code by Lifestyle. Uh, thanks to uh, the associates of Lifestyle and uh, dear colleagues from Lifestyle. Uh, it's uh, indeed a very, very important day in the journey of our brand, Code. Uh, today, uh, it is recognized as one of the leading uh, menswear brands in the country. Uh, and just to give you a brief glimpse of what this brand really stands for, uh, we have a small audio-visual presentation. Uh, can we have the brand AV, please? Uh, Mr. Peter Chavla, head of men's fashion lifestyle, and Mr. Srinivas Rao, please come and join us on stage. Let's have a big round of applause for the menswear team at Lifestyle and uh, Dheeraj for having given us a fantastic range. We have a small photo opportunity there. Thank you very much, Dheeraj. Thank you very much. Uh, Farhan, at this point in time, uh, we would love to uh, hear about your association with Code for the past year. Uh, hi, good afternoon, everyone. Um, we're here again with Code. 
it's always been a pleasure being here representing them being a part of their campaign there's someone who really are out there reinventing cool reinventing style making it accessible for millions of people to enjoy so it feels wonderful to be the face of this campaign it feels really good to be associated with a brand that's changing fashion and adapting to fashion as it changes the world over so i feel really really proud to be part of it thank you we are proud of having you here as well uh, i'd like to request uh, shrinivas to please share with us uh, a few words on our exciting journey with farhan with code by lifestyle uh, thank you uh, on behalf of lifestyle uh, just wanted to convey we are absolutely thrilled and honored at this association uh, the brand has really grown from strength to strength uh, and uh, we believe that uh, the only way forward for us is to kind of really become a a major brand uh, that people really look forward to kind of take their trend inspirations from uh, really uh, uh, wanted to thank you from on behalf of lifestyle thank you thank you so much thank you very much for sharing your thoughts uh, shrinivas and farhan uh, ladies and gentlemen code by lifestyle has been growing every year at a phenomenal rate and has become the brand of choice for young sharp new age fast trackers who dress sharp today code by lifestyle is unveiling its new mnemonic code two forward looking arrows uh, signifying fast forward that connotes the very values that the brand embodies the emotion focus always poised for action brimming with energy and who better than uh, farhan himself to unveil this new mnemonic for us so maybe please have uh, the magic pod uh, farhan you will have to point that towards the led wall uh, next stage right here Thank you, Namish, Dheeraj, and Shrinivas. And uh, Farhan, we have uh, created a small uh, corner for you with the Seasons Collection, uh, right on your right, with our new mnemonic. May I please request you to kindly step down towards uh, towards this area here. Thank you, Farhan. and back here on to the stage uh, now we have uh, the q&a for the media open uh, if you have a question please kindly raise your hand we have our team personnel who will bring the mic to you and we'll have that question and requesting all please kindly stick only to the event and questions not out of the event please yeah, so who would like to ask a question if you like to ask a question you'll have to raise your hand so we have the mic passed on to you सर आप सवाल पूछना चाहेंगे हाय कैन आई जस्ट गो ओके वेल फरहान वे हियर टू यू राइट टू यू राइट मैन वेल यू आर लुकिंग मैन डैपर सेक्सी आई विल से थैंक यू वेरी मच यू आर लुकिंग रियली कूल योरसेल्फ थैंक यू सो जस्ट टॉकिंग अबाउट द फैशन फरहान टॉकिंग अबाउट द ड्रेस सेंस which is that dress sense dress coding uh, according to which you uh, consider a fashion good fashion or a bad fashion um uh, you know actually there's in terms of good fashion and bad fashion it's difficult to really say because i think eventually what looks good on a person is what they are happy and comfortable to wear um so there are things you may see other people wearing that maybe you would choose not to um or something that you wear that somebody else may choose not to but the fact is when it's when there's a certain feeling and an emotion and a happiness that when you're dressed well or when you're feeling happy about what it is that you're wearing it evokes and that's when your clothing looks even better when you're feeling happy wearing it 
So uh, I don't know if there's any such thing. I mean, there of course are fashion faux pas, you know, of not mixing certain things together, um, certain colors that don't really at, at often work together. So these things do exist, but more often than not for any individual, I think if they're happy wearing something and if they're comfortable in whatever they're wearing, that to me is, is good fashion for, for that person. So we have the second question from this side, I guess, that somebody wanted to ask a question. So the mic is on. Uh, Farhan, hi. Uh, personally, are you uh, more comfortable in uh, formal wear or casual? Um, I'm comfortable in both. Um, the thing is, I mean, you can't really wear formal wear and roam around too often. You know, also the weather in Mumbai doesn't allow it very, very easily. When we do travel to places where the weather is slightly more conducive to being layered and to to allow us to be, I don't know, stylistic in a different kind of way, then I, I love to do it. But uh, in Mumbai, it's, it's easier. You want to wear clothes that suit the environment that you live in. You know, so today what you did see here as well, you know, the whole day party kind of dress code that they have, that kind of stuff, which is kind of light, light colors, easy to wear, you know, easier ties, things like that. That is something that always works in the kind of weather that we have, which is pretty much more often than not hot and humid. You know, so it depends on the weather. Hi, Farhan, here. Yeah. The lifestyle is used brand. So how much you brand conscious because already is a lifestyle. So you'll have to speak a little bit more clearly. I can't understand. Lifestyle is used brand, you know, lifestyle. Yeah. So how much you brand conscious for your... How much? You brand conscious because lifestyle always a highlight for that. Can you say it without the mic? I think it might be better. Uh, the lifestyle is used brand. So how much you brand conscious? How Hindi so how brand conscious am I? Um, well, I mean, all of us enjoy good things, you know, in life um, and when we work hard, you know, towards it. So when I do have an opportunity to associate with a brand like Lifestyle and On Code, it always feels good because you know that there's a lot of people behind the scenes. I mean, we are just here representing a huge team of people who are working constantly, you know, to reinvent style um, and to bring it out to people. So we just represent them. So I feel very happy to be doing that for people who work as hard as they do. Uh, Farhan, uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, what is your code of fashion? My code of fashion? Um, I, I think what I answered on the first question really is something that I do believe. I, I do believe being who you are is very important in, in how you dress. Um, the minute I've always noticed this, if you try and fake something, you know, because somebody else has told you it would be cool to do. You know, uh, more often than not, it, it has to inherently come from inside of you. Um, I do enjoy dressing up when the opportunity does arise. You know, I do enjoy that. So uh, given the fact that we have a wonderful association here with them, with Code, you know, I, I look forward to taking this ahead. And I, I do enjoy it tremendously, you know, uh, dressing up. So I, I am pretty fashion conscious on that level. Yeah. Uh, so Farhan, uh, yeah, there's a new kind of trend in fashion these days, uh, which is called rebellion. Uh, particularly, like uh, celebrities like uh, Rihanna and uh, Paris Hilton, they just come up to to the uh, fashion gatherings in in a in a kind of dresses which uh, few people just call very obscene. So, do you think that uh, they are fashionable? They can be called a fashionista, according to you? Well, uh, I mean, everything is, you know, and and to each their own. I don't think we can sit here in judgment on what somebody should wear or not wear. Um, everyone has their own idea, their own sensibility, aesthetic of what it is that they feel comfortable, how much skin they're comfortable showing, how much they want to be covered. Everyone has their own take. So I don't think it's fair for us to sit here and judge anyone, you know, for being obscene or not. Uh, the question is, would you wear it or would I wear it? When we have that opportunity, we'll decide, you know, whether we want to or we don't. But um, I, I can't sit here and pass judgment on whether it's obscene or not. Uh, hi, uh, Farhan, slightly away from fashion, uh, uh, Rithik Roshan has got a legal notice for, you know, so we, we, the Pope we'll in one of the... Slightly, you to slightly away you. from your question, I'll answer that some other time. Farhan, you have written a lot about your personal life. You have written a lot of peace, 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 a lot of peace. Uh, sir, so please kindly re refrain and please kindly restrict your question only to the events. Farhan, 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 Farhan,
He knows Taekwondo, huh? be careful. Yes, sir. कोई इस इवेंट से जुड़ा हुआ सवाल है तो आप वो कर सकते हैं बट बट वन लास्ट क्वेश्चन राइट नो आई गेस एंड दैट बी रैप थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू